back again for another video, a really short one this time, on flight path visualization perspective. Some of this stuff might seem a little bit silly or, or obvious at first, but in order to really understand intercept geometry, we have to start with the basics. So what we're going to do is, is look at how an intercept can be displayed and visualized, and there's three ways that that's done. The first way is the AIC perspective. So that's the controller, the AWACS. And that's a two-dimensional top-down orientation. The AIC often has a much better view of the situation surrounding the fighter than the fighter does itself. They, their job is to maintain situational awareness. Next up, we have the perspective of the bandit and that's the fighter's position from the bandit's perspective it's called target aspect or TA. TA is always expressed in degrees with a left or right. Degrees are assumed and not stated so if they were 30 degrees right it would be written and spoken as just 30 right. So again this is just the angle off the bandit's nose to our position or the friendly aircraft's position. Next up we have the fighter's view, which is the antenna train angle, and that's the opposite of the target aspect. That is the perspective from our nose to the bandit. When ATA and TA are opposite in direction and equal in magnitude, a collision course is established for two co-speed co-altitude aircraft, and we're going to have a look at that in some examples. Well, actually, it's only one example because this isn't that complicated. It's important, but it's not complicated, so let's have a look. This is the same scenario we had over Monkey Island. Let's have a look at the different perspectives here. So the aspect of both fighters they're both hot on each other. They're both in the green zones there. And the ATA and the TA meet. So if these aircraft are both at the same altitude and they're moving at the same speed, you can, you can very simply plot those lines and see exactly where they're going to intercept each other. In this case, ATA is 10 left because the fighter would need to point its radar 10 degrees to the, to the left in order to center it on the bandit. TA would be 7 right because the bandit would have to look out their window 7 degrees to the right to see the fighter. And again, this seems really simple, but we're going to take this, use it as our foundation, and build something on it that will hopefully help people uh, understand the geometry a bit better.